Hey, all right, here's what's going down. I've made a decision, I'm cutting my hair. <sighs> I know, but it's the right thing to do. This intermediate length is not working for me, and half the time, I look like crap, and I just don't have the time to, like, blow dry it and do anything with it, so it's not working. I'm gonna go, go in short. I'm glad I did it, though, because I kind of needed to take the intermediate step to get ready to go from the long to the short, so whatever. Um, yeah, I need something kind of funky, kind of wash and go. This is not, this is neither of those things. It's not reflecting my personality very well, number one. Number two, it's making me look about 12 years old. So, got to go. That's that. Other thing? Here's what's going on. Um, what you might not know is that I never read a blog before I started my blog. I mean, except for Mr. F's, rarely. Um, but now I try to read everyone's blogs who is watching this video and make my rounds and do what I need to do. But upon occasion, I will go see, you know, somehow get to a blog I've never been before. And then from that blog, you'll see some link in their blog and you'll go there. And suddenly, you find yourself in a crazy world. What kind of crazy world? A weird homemaking world, which I kind of like. But um, it's so weird, I mean so crazy, that it's this weird anti-feminist um, homemaking site, and maybe several sites, I'm not quite sure. And I'm kind of fixated on it, because, you know, you know I'm drawn to the extremes, people. You know I'm drawn to the extreme crazy stuff. So I, I can't stop reading it. Even though, obviously, I think it's a little cuckoo for coconuts. But what's fascinating about it is, number one, she shows you things like how to fold a towel. Now, people, you might not know, I'm a little kind of weird. I'm into weird homemaking stuff. <laughs> yes, my house is messy. But you know I've got the perfectionism thing going on there. And, um... I know how to fold a towel, you know. I, you know, I watched Martha back in the day before her show went to total hell, and I learned a lot of stuff if I didn't already know that. I know how to perfectly fold a fitted sheet, people. Yes, I do. I just don't wash them very often, so I don't have to bother. Um, but here's the deal. So you're reading this, and you're thinking, I mean, this always happens, doesn't it? Someone's telling you how to do something. And then suddenly you find some shot from their real life, and you're like, what is going on? You practically live in a trailer, and you're teaching me how to, I mean, like, not that that's, I'm not judging that. I've often fantasized about living in a trailer, so don't, don't get all crazy on me. You know, that I would be like the cool young single mom that lived in a trailer park wearing vintage sundresses. You've all had that fantasy, right? Maybe that's just me. But anyway, so don't get me on the trailer park issue. What I'm saying is this. When you read this blog, you think something fantastic is going on. You're imagining this woman living in a, like, Victorian house, everything perfect. And then you see that she really lives in just a glorified double wide trailer. And when you look at it from the outside, I mean, I don't, I can't see full inside shots yet. I'm sure I'll find them. It's like... I mean, it's unimaginable that that's where this person lives. I mean, it's craziness. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't even know. It's like if someone had a whole blog devoted to, like, crazy race cars, and then they drive, like, a weird, old, beat-up Impala or something. You know, this is what I'm saying. Not that she can't know what she's talking about, but, like, there's a discrepancy going on, which is almost more fascinating. So... If you want to go to this blog, it's called Home Living. I feel bad even saying that. I mean, you know, she's got a blog, so whatever. Home Living. A blog spot. And there's even a special thing I should be reading right now for newcomer students and young women. Even that scares me. And yet, I'm going to read it. Um, so, um, and she loves glitter. But anyway, seriously, go to it. Hilarious. I think you'll find it engrossing because 
She's got a whole crazy column at ladiesagainstfeminism.org. I mean, I've never heard of such a thing. Never heard of such a thing. So, I mean, some of you might be against it, I guess. Maybe there are people who are against it. Who knew? I'm not. But, um, you know, I guess it does. You know, there's different shows for different folks there, guys, people. But anyway, if you want to know how to fold a towel, there, that's just a good place to come. And, uh, haircut, anti-feminism, what more do you want from me? Number one, today was a great day in the mail. Here are the reasons why. I got my 10% off coupon for Target. I don't think I have to say much more. So I'm going to probably go there and buy 75% more stuff than I normally would. Um, I finally got paid from Blogger. There was some kind of error. Anyone who has been wondering about that, haven't been paid for months and months, so finally got paid. So that's kind of exciting. And I got my very first King Arthur flower baking sheet, which is not a baking sheet. It's this. Mr. F got me a subscription to this for Christmas. Now you know why I'm reading the stupid homemaking thing. Now you get it. You get the whole, the whole thing going on here. And, um, so, you know, I'll be baking soon. And, uh, other thing you might want to know, we made a crazy streusel cinnamon bread today, and Mr. F and I have eaten the whole thing in about six hours. So, there's that. Keep that in mind. So, coming up for you next week, I'm going to be doing some kind of a challenge. Possibly, I'm going to have to start doing the food diary, because really my food has gone to hell. But I'm doing some kind of a workout challenge, because people, i got to tone the stomach up. I've got to. I've got to make it happen. I mean, it's almost like, honestly, I'm going to reveal a little truth going on here. I think, although I'll have to wait next week to be most accurate, I think my body fat has gone up like 1% or 2% in the last couple of weeks. I've been eating like hell. Thankfully my weight hasn't, so it kind of makes sense. But anyway, Jelly Belly, I feel, I mean, is it just me or is it more jellyish than it used to be? <laughs> Not that you would know, but I'm pretty sure it is. So anyway, those are, those are my thoughts for now. Go to it. Homeliving.blogspot. Go to it right now. I mean, it'll blow your mind. So that's that. And, uh, 